Hi friends, welcome back to another Mina Monday. This week's video is how I study for finals. These are just my main study strategies to get good grades on my finals and make sure I'm not feeling too stressed and overwhelmed throughout the week. I tend to overthink things sometimes, so it's really good for me to plan out my week and just plan out how I'm going to study and so I wanted to share with you guys and my tips and tricks. And before we get into this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know what you think of this video and what else you'd like to see. But yeah, let's just get right on into it. So first I'm going to be talking about my in general study tips, then I'll be talking about how I study for closed note finals and then open notes finals. So it's interesting because this year is the first year that I've had open notes finals. Granted, it is only my second year of college, but typically there are closed notes because they are in person, but because things are online, a lot of my professors are having unproctored exams that are open note finals. So I'm just going to talk about how I study for both the closed notes ones, which are online and proctored, and the open note ones where I do get my notes. So first we're going to talk about what I do in general. So like I said before, I always create a plan. This is something that I find to be really, really, really necessary. It can just help you just even if you aren't somebody who gets stressed or overwhelmed by, th by the things that you think you need to do. It's just good to know when you're going to study these things so that you don't procrastinate and you keep yourself on a schedule. This is something I'm going to go more in depth about later on because for my closed notes finals and my open notes finals I do a little bit different sort of things that I go over per day. My other tip is to go somewhere and make that your designated study area. So I love to study with my friends, especially in our apartment, but sometimes I just need a change of scenery because we've been here all semester. And so if I go somewhere like a coffee shop or a study room, that actually helps me focus a lot more because it's like I went there for a designated reason. I went to the coffee shop or I went to the study room because I told myself I was going to study there and that is why I'm there. And somehow that mindset and that change of scenery really helps me study a lot better. So I know we can't go to coffee shops right now, but if you can rent a study room, go to the library or one of the classrooms at your college. But if you are stuck at home and you can't go anywhere to study, just even making a designated area in your home that you're always going to study and then having other parts of your house or your home where you aren't going to study and have like a break is really good for your mindset because it allows your brain to associate a certain space with work and then another space with leisure which is really good to try and separate the two things. The next thing is to treat yourself. This is something I love to practice. If I know I'm going to have a big study day, I always get myself some Starbucks. It's so nice to have a nice special treat, even if it is just your favorite coffee or um, a little pastry. It helps me study so much better because I am, well one, the caffeine helps me focus and two, it's just nice to make yourself happy with little small joys and treats to yourself. Like I said before, studying with friends is another great thing. If you have friends in your classes, then you can even meet with them over Zoom or over FaceTime or in person if they are your roommates or you feel safe doing so. It is really great to meet with people and just to go over content with them. Sometimes I'll just have discussions about what we talked about in class and that helps me remember things a lot better than if I'm just rereading the notes because those discussions are something that I'm more likely to remember. But that's also just me. It can also be helpful to study with friends if maybe you understand certain concepts better and they under understand other concepts better. Like So that way you guys can mesh and teach one another, which is also a great way to study. My best general study tip, I think, is actually to write out all of your assignments for the rest of the year. But this is actually something that my roommate did and I thought it was a super great idea, so thank you, Grace. Um, she started doing this and just wrote down the rest of the assignments she has because we only have two more weeks till the semester is over and because everything is online and some of our classes are asynchronous, it is good just to have everything out in one area for you to look at. So yes, I usually use a planner and if you don't, try and get on that because that is such a good thing and it helps you be really organized for school, which is really necessary. But this is also a good way just to make sure you have everything out on one piece of paper that you can see every day and you can check off as you go so that you know that you're getting closer to the end. Now for closed notes finals. So for closed notes finals, I like to go through and look at all of the items that I need to review. I look through my blackboard or if you use Canvas or whatever online 
things that your school uses, look at everything that your teacher has posted, whether it's lecture notes, it's PowerPoints, presentations, if it's homeworks that you guys have done, quizzes, and study guides. So for my closed notes final, which is my accounting class, I have a bunch of study guides that she's given us. I have a bunch of homeworks that we've done and I have my notes that I've taken from her lectures. So those are the main things I'm gonna go over and then she also gave us practice problems. So I'm going to write down what problems I'm gonna do per day. So I decided I'd do about two for the first week and a half before the final. This is where I said I would get more in depth about the study plan. So as you can see, I'm picking each day or I'm picking what I'm gonna do each day and it's going to be specific about whether what chapter notes I'm gonna be looking at, what practice problems I'm gonna do or what sorts of homework things I'm gonna look over and things like that. I always make sure that I don't have too much to do the night before the final. That is the time when I like to relax a little bit because by that time I feel like I kind of know everything that I know I need to know, if that makes sense. I don't know everything, but by then it's kind of hard for me to feel like I still need to study because I do study like a week and a half in advance and like just do that whole entire week and a half or two weeks. And so from there, I just feel like I can't learn anything else. And it's also good just to give your brain a little break and to relax. So I do refresh over some of the material I feel like I still am a little iffy on. And then from there, I just relax and give myself some time to have a breather, maybe some self-care. So when I'm looking over my old notes, I don't rewrite everything, but I do like to rewrite anything that I feel like I don't know that well. So if I'm looking over certain concepts and I feel like I already understand it, I won't rewrite it, but I'll just make sure that I keep that in the back of my brain. But if I'm looking at a concept and I'm kind of confused or just seems unfamiliar, then I write that down because that is a way for me to restudy it. And then I also re write down every single equation and then I create study notes and flashcards that I'll look at those equations about because I need to remember these equations for the exam since it is closed notes. I also make sure to look at my past homeworks because a lot of the problems that professors may have are very similar to the homework problems and so it is good to go over the homework because it is you actively practicing the material and making sure that you understand it and if you're able to go over the homework and understand what you did for every problem then that's really good because then you know that you know what you're talking about. And I think it is also really important not to overload yourself and allow yourself to do a little bit per day. Obviously, everybody has different study strategies and different things work for different people. But for me personally, what I found is best is not overloading myself and giving myself some breathers, but doing a little bit every day and then a couple days before the exam, trying to review everything that I feel like I don't know. Because like I said before, I compile those notes of what I don't feel like I know very well, and then I review those specific parts a couple days before the exam. I'm like talking too fast and make myself nervous. Last but not least, for the open notes finals, I typically will do very similar things to what I do for the closed notes finals. The main difference is that I make nicer notes because these are kind of my study guides, my study notes specifically for the final. This way I don't have to go and look through every single one of my notes and have to look through the textbook what I like to do is put post-it notes on my textbooks about what specific chapters they are and what specific topics they are. So that way I know if I don't know a topic very well and I want to easily find it, I can just look at the post-it note and flip there during the final because it is open note and open book. And then for my notes, I just go through all of my notes day by day and I see what I don't know. And actually for this open note final, he, my professor has just lectures and his lectures are all word documents that he's gone through already. So what I do is I've read every single lecture, but one per day or sometimes two if I'm doubling up. And then I'll go through the lectures and write what I feel like I don't know. And then from there, that is my main study guide notes for the final. Obviously I can go and look at my other notes too, but this is already helping me like study. And it also just has all the concepts I feel like I don't know that well right in front of me. But the good thing is also while I'm writing all these and reviewing the concepts as I'm going through it, I know that I'm also learning it. So it's really helpful because I'm both studying but also having an ability for me to quickly find what I may not know or may not know right away. It is also really smart if you have quizzes and homeworks to look at those. So for my accounting class, which is my closed note final, I didn't have any quizzes I could look at. But for my 
open note final, which is my macro class, I have a lot of quizzes that I can look at. Then what I'm going to do is write down the ones, the questions that I didn't get right and write down those concepts because those are concepts that I don't know. And then I just put them on my study guide and then that way I know that I can really quickly access those concepts. But also please don't forget to enjoy the last week of finals or of the semester with your friends. For my friends and I, we've been watching the Harry Potter series, so that is a really nice break for me. On all these days, I've also been studying a lot. And good luck. You guys are going to kill it. You're going to do great on your finals. Don't worry. It's going to be okay. And yeah. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed. This is just what I personally do to get good grades on my finals. Obviously, I don't know what my grades for these finals are, but I know that this has worked for me both during times where classes were online and during times classes weren't online. This is my study strategies that I've had. I've ended up getting good grades so far in college. So hopefully that sticks through and I hope that these tips and tricks help you. And yeah, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week and a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!